A couple people in my last mouse video say I say mouse way too American and I can't say it German and I tried to pronounce M-A-U-S versus M-O-U-S-E like I do. And I practiced with Bismarck a bit yesterday and I practiced with another German and it, the conclusion was is that my dialect and accent cannot be broken and I apologize. But just bear with me. I'm sorry. I can. I am terrible with German vocabulary. So mouse is the best you're going to get from me. But let's push forward on this road. You can see there's a lot of king tigers some yak tigers and a lot of mouses on this team but most of the players are signing up for the American slash Russian team and I'm gonna make sure that they feel very very bad about that decision I see something a little muzzle smoke over there remember like I said there are no opponents names so I have to actually visually see the tank and I just shot that right there that was a bad shot but we have to let them know that I see them the mighty mouse sees all Ooh, bot. Now I'm distracted by something shiny. Hi, little bot. We'll shoot him with the little 75mm coax. Oh, that's a problem right there. Actually, no, he's got a side he's got a side to me. Bye! Adios! That was a T-54. And that guy saw his friend get obliterated and said, hell no, and left. I'll catch you later, though, sexy. Don't you go nowhere. I'm in a really good mood, the mouse. I love this event. The problem is, is with the mouse, you get you, nobody really maybe sometimes even sees you. They just see your name pop up or somebody spots your name, and then they shoot. It's with all tanks, of course, but when you're freaking like 12, 14 feet tall or whatever, uh, people will shoot at you because they just see your name and they don't actually see you yourself. So now you actually have to get eyes on to hit your tank, which I love the immersion, I love the challenge, and I love the paranoia. And it makes flanking better, and it makes, I think it's just something that War Thunder has lacked with the RB mode. I always appreciate what Sim does in RB, or sorry, what Sim does for ground forces. But for me, I think this is the perfect mix of RB camera mode, the third person camera, which I do like, and removing the opponent's names like they have in Arcade. I think that's a better shift that direction. I hope the community for the most part, for the most part accepts this so that we can get something better. Yeah, hopefully the game will evolve to that next level. That I think a lot of people are missing. I am trying to make a decision here while I'm... Let's turn the tank to the left here and let's go across the bridge. Oh, look, another mouse behind me. Let's cross this bridge and see what we get into. I will be sticking primarily to this road because mouse don't like hills and this is a pretty level terrain. I just drove to that tank. Very bizarre. There's some muzzle smoke and... over to the right. Let me see if I can see. There's something in there. That's what I mean, the paranoia. I think there's something in there, but I don't know. That's a burning tank. And keep pushing up. Please don't let me get shot in the side where the fuel tank is. That'd be very sad. Wait, what's that? And that's moving. Kill it. Yes! That was a IS-3, it appears. And I think I saw the top of something. Possibly American? Let's pull up here and see if I can get a better shot at him. I am not going to kill that thing through its turret, but if I keep shooting, it, I might be able to disable the barrel or get him to move. That was a terrible shot, but I'm just trying to scare him. Another shot. And it looked like he worked. He's backing up. So if I can get this big ground loaded before he gets over that hill, I can kill him. So maybe three, two, and the mouse in front of me is pulling forward. Boom. Dead. Adios, T32. Mouse power, baby. Let's go. Onward to greatness. Now the next thing in my head is now that we've killed some Russians and Americans, when does the aisle, or when, when does the American and Russian bombers and attackers come in to annihilate us, because the mouse, I mean, you die by a mouse, do you immediately spawn and kill it with bombs? And understandably. That's why I'm going to pull off the road a bit here, because I do not want them to just travel down this road and bomb everything. When the mouse was, before the mouse was officially added to the game, there was a lot of speculation on how unstoppable will it be. Look at the armor numbers, and other people are like, it has many faults with it. It's not perfect and blah, blah, blah. 
the speed isn't as killer as I thought. There are certain maps where the mouse is almost useless because it takes so long to get into the battle that's already determined before you even get there. And then there's other maps like this where the mouse is, the speed doesn't really make a big difference. But I will say this is that there are weak points on the armor that the Russians and Americans have been exploiting quite quickly, so everything is not quite as a walk in a park as I it appears in this video. It does have its faults. It is a fun tank, it is a fun challenge. But it's by no means god mode on or anything. And he's shooting at something, but I don't see it, so I'm going to push forward towards A. Now, this is what I love about this game mode. There is... I can't see anything. Like, usually I just see two or three red names, and I just say, like, Oh, it's not safe to push, and you kill them, and you push forward. Now I have to go all in to this ambush. And I don't know if there's an IS-4 waiting, or in this case, there's a little anti-air shooting at me. Oh, he just dug that guy. does not want any of this. Let's keep pushing forward. That's bigger. That is... What are you? What the hell are you shooting at me? Maybe 40 millimeter? That's an M19. Hello. I'm going to kill you. Or your loader. Oh my god. If I hit a loader with that thing, he would just be cut in half. Let's shoot the little gun at him. I don't think it's going to do much. Let's see if I can kill some crew with the HE rounds. As soon as I get this big round loader, he's dead. I do have the upgraded turret drive, which is why I'm able to swing and keep uh, up with him a bit. I think he just died, but what the hell, I'm going to shoot him just to make sure. And I'm going to shoot him again just to make triple sure. He scratched up my mouse. You got to keep this saying mint. Alright, let's drive in here a little bit more and see what else. Now the fun part about this game is that when you defeat the other team and you get to the capture point, what the hell just shot me? It is immediately dead. T-32 just looked like it shot at me and he was obliterated. There he is right there. Holy crap, how did I not see him? You know what I gotta say about that? You're double dead to me. Anyway, what I was trying to say is I'm terrified of bombs in a game like this because there's gonna be a mass migration of mouse, of mice, of mouses. Anyway, to this point, and then you just come by with one B24 and you have five or six kills. So this mouse is going to wait for the cheese to be at the correct age for consumption. And maybe let the other mouse die by the mouse trap. Yeah, that's right. I'm using a lot of puns and analogies here. The flag is neutralized. I'm going to go ahead and probably drive forward on this and try to get some capture points. Hopefully I don't get bombed. Please don't let me get bombed. I have bad luck of getting bombed. Here comes the fucking bombs. Are you kidding me? He didn't kill anybody. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that poor American or Russian, whatever. He thought he was about to just clean up and he walked away with nothing. Wow. <laughs> I think the bombs were too small and they were slightly behind, but still, that's hilarious. I didn't like how the bomb marker came up, though. I thought that was just an arcade thing. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see what I get for rewards on this. It'll probably be pretty poor, because the mouse is a very, very, very long and sad soul grind. But it's still fun. I love this thing. I'm glad I bought it. There's nothing really wrong. It's just, it takes a lot of playing to get upgraded parts. And the more upgraded she gets, the more fun she gets. With, especially with the turret drive, fire extinguishers, upgraded ammo. All those things just make this thing better and better and better. And I got three player kills, one assist, two criticals, blah, blah. Only 24,000 lions. And you can see the RP there. It just takes a lot of games to get upgrades for this. Let me know what you think about the RB changes that will be coming sooner or later. And thanks for watching.